Okay guys, so today's video is about how to travel like a hype beast. Now, as I mentioned in past videos, I've got a big trip coming up this summer, so I've started putting together a few things that um, I'm going to be traveling with. It's sort of like inspired by me being a hype beast. It's not sort of me just jamming every fire piece of uh, Supreme and Palace into my bag I have. I've sort of like... I had a good think about it basically and it, it's sort of got a flavour of me being a hype beast in some of the items so yeah let's get straight into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy it so the first thing I thought is um, the bag you're going to take so uh, just as a disclaimer I'm doing sort of like a backpacking holiday so it's sort of like really light packing so it's not like going to be a suitcase full of stuff that I'm talking about but um, it's ideal for like if you're going away I don't know for like a weekend or something like that but if you're also backpacking and you happen to be a hype beast then this video hopefully will be helpful to you as well but first of all I'm going to talk about what bag I'm going to take now I've got a couple of options I've got my um, I've got my Supreme North Face uh, Leaf Camo bag that I picked up last year um, I started using this as like a school bag so I take it into uni and stuff like that um, but if you're into like flexing big time, then I highly recommend a Supreme rucksack if you have one. I know they recently restocked the like 3M ones with um, Supreme running up here. Those are kind of fire. But yeah, if you're not into like flexing, because I'm not going to take this because um, I don't really want to be carrying around a, I don't know, this is like worth probably like 200 quid. So I kind of like don't want to be having to worry about that all the time considering there'll be times where I'm probably leaving my bag in some places so um, what I've opted to do is just get this um, non supreme North Face bag um, it's called the Jester, it's basically the same as the supreme one but of course without the supreme branding so it's a bit more low key and yeah it's still can fit a lot of stuff in it so that's where I'm at with my bag. I'm going to take this um, plain old North Face one, which I copped. And the other funny thing about that, just as like a little hype beast fact, this one cost me £132, I want to say, when it dropped. And this one only costs like £45. So if you don't have any Supreme luggage, then I'd, I'd highly recommend just getting a North Face bag. I'll leave the link to where I got this one if you want to cop it but now let's get into the sort of stuff I'm going to be bringing in my rucksack so I sort of pre-packed it just so um, I could pull stuff out for the video so um, first thing I'm going to talk about is my hat this is my hat I've been wearing for like a year now it's just a Brixton uh, snapback I don't own a supreme hat I kind of want to get one but they don't drop many snapbacks like the last snapback that dropped I think was the Supreme Champion one which um, it was a, like a surprise um, item that dropped so I didn't really know about it and I sort of decided on that week I wasn't going to buy anything so when it dropped I was like ugh I'm, I didn't really plan to spend money so I just passed on it but this Brixton hat does me good I really like it I like the green underneath the brim but yeah this has done me great but I do think I'll get a Supreme hat or something at some point um, next up, going into the clothing, um, it's going to be really hot, so I, um, I picked up this Adidas tank top a few months back, uh, I think I showed it in a previous video, but it's just this olive green tank top, really good, I've worn it a few times already at the beach, so yeah, something like that, it's sort of like affordable and comfortable, I think this was about £18 when I bought it. So that's, uh, I'd highly recommend getting something along those lines, or if you do have Supreme ones, I know the Champion ones dropped last week. I didn't cop because I'm trying to save money for this trip, so Supreme drops are a real, a real dangerous uh, zone for me at the moment to be getting involved with. Um, next up, I'm going to talk about some of the shorts I'm going to be taking. So the first pair of shorts I'm going to show you is these. Adidas um, sport essential ones I picked up they're very light and loose and very breathable you've just got the three stripes and the Adidas sport logo on there 
These are really good, I've worn these a lot. They're very loose fitting and just really comfortable. They've got that climber light technology, whatever that is. They're really good, they've got pockets, um, and they're just a really decent pair of shorts. I also had the ones I'm wearing, um, which are champion sort of essential ones. Um, I'll do some like B-roll shots put over me talking right now, because I'm actually wearing them. And then, board short wise, um, I really, really wanted those split water shorts that dropped a few weeks ago, but they were £90 and that was just like not not feasible for me, but I did really want them. But the ones I'm going to be rocking this summer are the Hurley, Hurley um, water shorts, board shorts, whatever you call them. Um, these are really good, I've had these for a long, long time. Hurley do make, in my opinion, the best sort of water shorts, um, board shorts. They do like really good quality stuff and the designs on them are really nice as well. Again, not really that hype beasty, but I have had these for a while and they have done me a world of good. Just a really reliable pair of board shorts. Um, next off, I want to talk about um, just the smaller bags because um, recently I've seen a lot of people rocking the um, like Supreme shoulder bags and they're just like this little like man bag you can have and you can put your wallet and your keys and when I'm travelling I'm just going to want something because it's a bit of a nightmare having to take off your rucksack to get a wallet and stuff like that out of your bag so having like a little shoulder bag is well from what I've found is, is really useful so um, unfortunately during the bag restock I wasn't in the market for one of these so I missed out on the Supreme shoulder bag um, which was like £30 and now it's going for like 70 to 100 which is just absurd so when I bought this North Face bag I also found just like this plain sort of dead brand sort of one and it's just black it's just plain it's got like a ton of compartments I've got two zips on the front um, a pocket on the front just a grab and go pocket and then a ton of room inside and it's also got another pocket in there this cost me like 11 pounds and i'm sure it's sort of like much more practical than the supreme ones but yeah if you are like me and missed out on the supreme ones and you don't really want to pay resale for it and you want to cop something just like this i'll leave the link to this below it's really handy i've been using it for the past few days just going out and about and it's a world of good because normally i'm just chucking my wallet and my keys in my girlfriend's bag and she doesn't like that too much oh yeah and then underwear wise it's got to be the supreme boxes um ever since i bought these i actually got these when i went to the london supreme shop because um i was like just sort of like understanding how supreme worked and whatever and i was in london and i thought oh, i might as well go by and check it out like nobody was in there so there must have been no drops going on or whatever, but I walked straight in, sort of had a look around, there wasn't anything amazing, and then I just saw a guy buying the boxes and I was like, oh, what the hell, I'll grab those. So I got these, um, I think I'm definitely going to order some more um, in tomorrow's drop because it's a total dead drop. I might do a video on it, I'm not sure. But yeah, I might just grab some of those, an extra four pairs before I go. Next off, I want to tell you what kind of footwear I'm going to be taking. Um, I've had a long think about this and um, I think I've decided I'm going to take my Adidas Ultra Boost. Uh, this is a 2.0 Ultra Boost if you're interested. Um, yeah, I've decided to take these because when I went travelling, well not really travelling, but when I went to America last year I took my Mesh NMDs. They were good but they weren't like massively comfortable and I just thought I, I narrowed it down to basically NMDs, uh, Ultra Boost, and EQs or the EQT 9317 and I just thought I can totally rely on this shoe, I've had no problems with them, every time I wear them it's just unbelievably comfortable so I think, because I'm going around Europe, um, these are going to be an absolute winner and plus I've had them for a year so I'm not too fussed about getting them that dirty but yeah I'm happy to go with these and I'd highly recommend wearing these if you're travelling about. Now also, um, 
hopefully I'm going to be on the beach a lot so I thought I better bring some sort of like sandals, some sort of slides so um, I've had these for about a year because I picked these up when I went to Boston last year because uh, when I went to America I had these like really crap sort of cheap flip flops and they were like blistering up my toes and it was just a horrible experience so I thought um, I'll go in and grab some slides so I've managed to pick up these Jordan brand slides I know I don't really like Jordan brand but um, these were the ones that appealed to me most of the time so it's just like an all white sort of slide with I don't know if that's elephant print or whatever they call it but um, yeah I grabbed these and they're just really good I can wear them like for a long time and you don't experience any sort of rubbing or blistering on with them because your foot just sits in there and yeah I just think it's a great great little um, sandal slide I'll probably cop some adidas ones at some point but these have done me good up to now so I'm gonna take these with me and last of all I just want to talk about a couple of little accessories I'm gonna bring with me so if you like me and you're a massive sneakerhead um, and sort of get paranoid if your shoes get dirty or whatever I've decided um, I'll probably bring my crap protect kit just to, if I end up going in some like uh, I don't know a field and they get muddy or whatever and um, the good thing I've realized about this is the the like liquid stuff it's a it's only a hundred mil so you'll have no problem getting this on airplanes or anything so that's a little bonus I realized with the with the crap kit and then finally I've got a portable charger um, and because I'm a hype beast I went ahead and whacked the supreme sticker on it it's the first time I've ever used a supreme sticker for actually like anything apart from on my laptop so I thought it looks sick when I put it on I cut it in half and yeah it's just a dope way to just like jazz up little things that you always have on you that about wraps up this video on how to travel like a hype beast um, please leave a comment down below telling me any other accessories you like to take travelling with you um, hype beast wise and um, tell me if you found this video helpful and it's given you a little bit of guidance on how to pack if you're a hype beast and yeah it's just something I wanted to make and share with you guys because obviously I'm going travelling and I'm a hype beast and it's sort of like showing you how I incorporate my hype beast lifestyle into how I travel so again thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll be back very soon with more cheers guys